proudly sponsored by Premier Guns. You have one. Oh, Thank you, they're quite nice. Cabbage dairy milk colour. Well, it's it's not a bad, it's not camp, is it? No, it's very UKIP, actually. It just puts well, me in mind might, might, might go down with our right-wing supporters there. We've designed 16 it. 16 grams, we, we, eight and a half. In steel. What? Yeah. Eight and a half. It's in steel. Wow. I mean, that really is making the most of the space, isn't it? Don't ask me how many pellets are in there at the moment. I don't know. And I'm trying to do the maths and it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. it's a lot. Yeah. So you would think how people talk about steel, you'd go, well, steel doesn't work. I did a demonstration on Wednesday for the Game Wildlife Conservation Trust. Oh, yeah. So it's got standard steel and high performance steel. And we had one particular target. It was a driven bird, but it was a long way out. And they thought, well, steel can't do it. So they've really gone away having a totally different idea about steel, because this is standard steel anyway. How much of a difference do you think the wadding makes for holding it together with a high bird? Well, it makes a massive difference. Yeah. So is Especially, this something that you've this, looked at here? Well, first of all, it's got a green core wad in it. So it, it's the most advanced wad in the world. Is this what's come over from the BMP? Wad? Yes. Right, okay. Yeah. So I've just shot these on 30 yard crosser. So 30 yards with an A and a half. Mm. And it's, it's minced. <laughs> I was really surprised because the recoil on it is less than a Magnasonic 21. But 16 grams, not everything's going to cycle these. You know, you've, well, you've got it's no hope with the semi auto, but well, well, even some of the Berettas are going to struggle. Possible. There is a possibility. It's not designed for semi-auto shooting anyway, because of the length of the case, which is only 65 mil. I know, look at it, it's tiny. It's, tiny. it's absolutely nubby. What else is that really ideal in? Corporate days. That's what it's designed for, but what else could that really fit in nice? Old side by side. Yeah. Old English side by side. Yeah. Because they're protected by the full cut rod, because you know, you've got to use a full cut rod for that is Steel. absolutely perfect for side by sides, isn't it? Exactly. It is. So is that who it's aimed at, really? No. Same people that have never shot. Jack, Jack's just been up from Fiocchi. Yeah. Because he's well, he doesn't shoot. No, he looks like he being a boy. Band. And he came. And he. <laughs> you're, flat, you're really pumping here over there. But he's just shot, and he he's never shot. She says, I'm really nice to be able to shoot, because they're so light. It's what you're going to find out in a minute. Like, I mean, it even feels like... But actually, when you put it in your hand, you're going to go, that's, yeah, not, that's, that's not... I not, mean, that... OK, it's not a full box, but that is like... That is... That actually light. feels empty, doesn't it? It does feel empty. If yeah. someone was to give you that, yeah. you'd go, well, there's no lead in that. Yeah. Well, no, there isn't. It's steel. Wow. So, full cut green core wad. So you've got the most advanced wad in the world. 100% biodegradable. Really? 100% by the wad is 100% biodegradable. Only activated by carbon in the ground. Really? So you can get these wet, that you shouldn't, but you can, or damp, and it won't affect. So on some of the brands, I won't mention any names for political reasons. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> There's more than one, but we'll keep it at that. They're fine in, because they're activated by water. What happens to steel when it gets wet? It goes rusty. And then it fuses together. So these are only activated by the carbon in the ground. Now on Wednesday, the game where wildlife conservation was sent, well, how does that work then if you're shooting over a pool? And I went, they sink. The actual wads sink. When they hit the bottom, the carbon that's in the ground, as soon as that's fired, hits the ground, it's gone in six months. Really? 100% gone. Wow. So if you're one of them people that's managed to get your cartridges dumped because you put them in the garage where you shouldn't have because we know we've all done it, they won't go off, they won't ball. That's brilliant. They're great for the English side by side, great for new shooters, great for the corporate thing. Which is what they're really... So when you've got somebody new coming in, and you know what it's like, especially on the female side, who are rightly nervous about a gun, yeah, kicking yeah. them. That's brilliant. Wow. So, How long does it take you to come up with this? These are the only ones on the market, yeah? I've not seen anything like this before. There is nothing like this in the world. 
This is totally new. Yeah. And also, if anybody tries to copy it, they can't because nobody's got an eight and a half in steel. How long have they been out? They're not out. <laughs> They're not out at all. When are they coming out? I can't tell you. <laughs> the machine's working flat out right now. Is it? <laughs> are they in Storm 1? Are they in where? Storm 1. Storm 1? Yeah. What's Storm 1? It's the name of the machine at Larwell. Is it? Yeah. Oh, the original one? Yeah. The first one yeah. from Montaz had. Yeah. Do you know what? I didn't even know it had a name. Yeah. I've always known it as Montaz's machine. Yeah, well, apparently he had a normal house and it was just absolutely full of machines. Sounds Everywhere. like Montaz. They're in, the they're in the bedroom, they're in the downstairs room. Okay. The accounts lady was about two metres away from... Did you ever meet him? No, I never met him, no. He was one of the most eccentric people I've ever met in my life. Really? Mm. And he started off all this? He started this off in Pershaw Road, Birmingham. So, Birmingham. Lionel Express, the only cartridge, I'm telling people this, to ever win an Olympic gold medal that's made on Correct. the shores of England. Good, isn't it? Correct. You're going to have a go with them. By Richard Fold. Yeah. What year can you remember? 2000, Sydney 2000. Yeah, it's time to go. It's just testing yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, come on, let's have a go. Pull. Gently, keep on the bottom. Okay. What else have we got? Left or right pressure, please. Right, yeah. Pull. Wow. I couldn't pick up on that Batu. Oh, OK. Term. And what did you think of the shells? I thought, to be honest with you, they never crossed my mind, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. They were, um, yeah, they were amazing, actually. Natural, easy. Yeah. Yeah, they were really good. I yeah. wasn't kind of, I wasn't conscious of them mm -hmm. when actually I should have been. I just focused on the shooting. Had some really good kills with them, to be honest with you. Good. Looking back, thinking about it, the fact they're 16 grams of car, yeah, you, I mean, it's, it's something you would never imagine. So you would expect it to be a different shooting experience for sure. Um, and it was, yeah. mm -hmm. it was easy. There was, there was next to no, I, I never even considered recoil or anything to do with it. I was just absorbed in the shooting. Um, I was thinking about that Batu target a little bit too much. Yeah. So I to get a little bit worked up about that one towards the end, you know? We've yeah. all been there. Um, yeah, you would expect a Batu to be a little bit easier, a bit more face on it and a bit nearer. So, um, yeah, the shells as, as a concept are amazing. Mm -hmm. Having tried them out and then immediately completely forgotten about them, yeah. that tells me that, um, that they're really good. Yeah. yeah. Who would you recommend using them? What? Who would you recommend to use them? I think the English side by side market. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, because we all know, and if we don't all know, we should all know that um, steel isn't necessarily unsuitable for a side by side. Yeah. Um, there's a thing coming up later this month down at Giles Mary. It's on the 20th of May. I imagine I'll be seeing Marcus there talking yeah. about steel and side by sides. I have seen on that before. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it to side by sides. As far as ladies go, I'm not overly keen on being like, oh, well, why don't you have a 20 ball? Mm -hmm. oh, why don't you try this? Um, I think they're suitable for anybody. Okay. But really, yeah, th th that's going to be amazing in the side by side. It's going to be the best thing for the gun as well. Okay. So, thanks a lot. That's brilliant, too. Nice to see Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Oh, yeah. Hey. Thank you. Like I say, like I say you've won an award. Thank you. Thank you. With Alex Sayer.